Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and I am so excited to reveal the very first episode of my renovation series. In this series, I take our second bedroom and turn it into an office using affordable decorations and DIYs. Keep in mind that we live in an apartment, so everything I show you is rental friendly. So you don't miss out on any other videos. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So a little history about this dresser. This is actually my husband's brother's dresser and they had this when they were kids. So this dresser was a blue, old, dusty, white plastic handles to it. It's just like out of date. We didn't want to invest in a big piece right now and I saw this dresser that I knew I could use for storage and to put like my equipment inside of it and I thought why not revamp it. So follow along to see how it turned out. First thing first is to remove the drawers and prep the dresser for paint. So here I'm just using soap and water to remove any dust, gum, or dirt. Because it will suck to have dirt underneath a fresh coat of paint. This step is so crucial for having a smooth surface. I am taking an 80 grit sandpaper and sanding down the entire dresser. Okay, moving right along to the painting part, my favorite part. The paint that I picked up is this gorgeous blush tone pink called Quartz Blush. It just makes me so happy and it's gonna bring boldness to this space. So this paint comes with primer already, which is perfect because it cut down on the work that I have to do. Now you just do the same thing to the drawers. You prep it by using soap and water, you sand it, and you paint it. So here I'm constantly switching between the Bristol brush and the sponge brush. I think the sponge brush, in my opinion, gave me less of a no streak surface, but it's a preference thing. I still love the Bristol brush, but when it came to um, just having that one last coat and a smoother surface, I went with a sponge brush. The next step is optional, but I went back with a 120 grit sandpaper just for a smoother and even surface. These are the basic white plastic knobs this dresser came with. Instead of going out to buy completely new knobs, I just use the metallic spray paint. Okay, so the inside of this drawer has been abandoned for years. <laughs> it's a very, very old paper lining and I just had to get rid of it and add something prettier. But I won't go into steps. I will put another video together showing you how to get this look or something similar. I am so happy how this dresser turned out. Like pink is one of my favorite colors and I couldn't be happier to have this dresser in my office. I really hope you took something from this video. Just try to keep in mind how can I make this space functional but still show my personality and be a room that I want to come in and do work. But let me know down below if you have an old piece that you've upcycled. As I said earlier, make sure that you subscribe because you do not want to miss the other videos that I have coming up for you. I think you're gonna be shocked just how much you can do in a rental. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later.